Yes, sir. <laughs> now, today, we're going to be talking about Keenan Anderson. Now, I know I'm a little late to the party. This happened a while ago, like earlier this year. But I was requested uh, to do this video, so I said, I said, why not? You know, and the individual sent that grip. You feel me? So I said, why not? Why not dive in and see what's going on? Now, they did also mention that they were a family member of this said individual. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but none of the less. Uh, I just want to issue a statement before we get through this. Uh, <laughs> I can't bite my tongue for nobody. You know what I mean? So the things that you might hear, you might not like what I have to say. But without further ado, we're going to dive into this situation and we're going to see what's going on. Right? Because Keenan Anderson, cousin of Black Lives Matter co-founder, dies from cardiac arrest after being tased by the Los Angeles police. What a narrative, right? Black Lives Matter cousin. <laughs> it just happens to be, right, a cousin of the Black Lives Matter co-founder and they end up dying in the hands of the white police. What a beautiful Cinderella story, right? What a perfect narrative to push, right? But come on, let's dive into this, man. Let's dive into this. Now, police said they responded to a traffic collision, so he had got into an accident, right? The afternoon of January 3rd and saw Anderson, the cousin, running in the middle of the street and exhibiting erratic behavior on one officer's body-worn camera, which was released and edited by the police, a woman at the traffic collision site tells police, I think that guy up there needs help, though, because the guy is trying to run away. Now, when the video resumes, Anderson is seen jogging into the street as the officer pursues him and stops him in a busy intersection, commanding Anderson to lay down on his stomach. Anderson does not appear to comply immediately and two other officers arrive and move him to lie prone on his stomach on the street, telling Anderson to relax. As officers struggle on top of him, Anderson can be heard screaming, help, they're trying to kill me, and please don't do this. In footage from another responding officer, an officer can be heard repeatedly warning Anderson to stop resisting and turn over, and threatening several times to tase Anderson. They're trying to George Floyd me, says Anderson, as officers try to roll him onto his stomach. Then an officer deploys a taser multiple times on Anderson, who says, I'm not resisting. Now, they tase this individual multiple times, as it says in the CNN article. And that tasing leads to Anderson having a quote unquote cardiac arrest. Now, the first red flag to me was him saying they're trying to George Floyd me when we know that George Floyd was a government psyop, a Masonic ritual, hence the knee to the neck. Right. And everything else that we seen, the, the 33rd degree tattoo on George Floyd's chest, that was the first red flag for me. But let's let's continue in this situation. Right. Now, this individual by the name of Keenan Anderson. Now, Keenan Anderson happens to equal 59 and 76, just like Negro, Rasta, Blues, and Slave. Now, if you don't understand what you're looking at, this is the practice of gematria, turning letters into their numerical value. This is how these rituals everything that's happening in the mainstream media is being coded by this numerology and this is the numbers that we happen to get when we run the name that's uh put in this cnn headline right so with his name synchronizing with slaves and blues most importantly right because if we take slave and blues in the reverse full reduction cipher, it happens to equal 31 
as Keenan was 31 years old at the time of his death, even his first name, Keenan, equals 31 as well. They even uh, quote him as being a 31-year-old father when father also equals 31 in the full reduction cipher. Now, the reduction cipher is simply reducing the letters with double digits to single digits. And once again, this is how the code is being revealed. So, what else is going on in this situation? Now, we have to ask more questions. But come on. Right? Because it said that Anderson taught 10th grade English at Digital Pioneers Academy in Washington, D.C., now, it's interesting that Digital Pioneers Academy equals 127, which is the 31st prime number. Remember, with him passing away at the age of 31, when his first name, Keenan, equals 31 as well. Now, uh, Anderson was visiting family in Los Angeles over winter break, which is said by Ashton the school's founder when Ashton also equals 31 in the reverse full reduction cipher. Now with these 31s popping up, it's very interesting that that 31 is also involved in the day that he passed away. The 3rd of January, 31, 31, 31, even the reverse, the reflection, January 3rd. One three, as in the city that it happened in, L.A., equal in 13, and the fact that he was tased, which led to his cardiac arrest when tased equals 13 as well with the day he got tased on January 3rd. So something deeper is going on that they're not telling. It's something deeper to this situation. Now, they did mention that Ken Anderson was the cousin of Black Lives Matter co-founder. So now let's dive into the cousin, right? And oh, look, would you know, look at the cousin. She's in a red room. You already know what that red room mean. You hear me? Now, it's interesting that cousin equals 27 as ritual equals 27 with this ritual occurring on 27 date numerology january 3rd in the year 23 and also the cousin's name patrice colors also equals 207 in the ordinal cipher now we know in numerology rules that zero is dropped so we have the number two and the number seven so Patrice Cullors' cousin was revolved in a ritual. Clear as day by the numbers. Now let's dive deeper on Patrice Cullors, right? Because the day that her cousin passed away was six months, exactly six months and two weeks after her birthday. When sacrifice equals 62. Now what's interesting once again with that birthday. The day of her. The day of her birth right. Because if we take the day of her birth. Which was the 20th of June 206. We also get sacrifice again in the Latin cipher. Now what's very interesting. Is the fact that. Her cousin's real name, her, her cousin's full name, Kenan Darnell Anderson, also equals 206, just like sacrifice. So was her cousin her sacrifice for that BLM organization? Was it a sacrifice to try to rile up the feathers of the black community like y'all always like to do for y'all monetary gain? Was this another one of their sacrifices, another one of their rituals? Just to rubble the feathers of the black community and try to cause trauma to the black community. But come on. Right? Because even if we take his full name once again, 
Keenan Darnell Anderson and the location of his death, Los Angeles, California. We have the synchronicity of 89 and 118. Most importantly, 118 because we know that death equals 118 in Latin once again. So we're getting that 118 synchronicity with Keenan Darnell Anderson. Now, what's also interesting that the coordinates of his death was also on 118 degrees west. Even the location, the coordinates, the coordinates of his death location also was 118 degrees west. Just like Keenan Darnell Anderson equals 118. I'll be damned. What else is going on? Is something deeper going on that's not being told? But we're going to dive in on that. We're going to dive in on that. Right? Once again, with Los Angeles, California, right? With it synchronizing up with Keenan Darnell Anderson. Now, also, Los Angeles, California also syncs up with his cousin, Patrice Colors, with him passing away 197 days after Patrice Colors' birthday in Los Angeles, California, when Los Angeles, California equals 197. Hmm. Interesting. Now, 197 is the 45th prime number, just like, once again, Ritual and Anderson equals 45. As they say, Keenan Anderson suffered cardiac arrest and died around four and a half hours after he was restrained and tased by the police. Hmm, this seems a little too coded, but let's dive in. Let's let's go deeper. Let's go deeper, right? Because in that headline, once again, breaking down that headline. Now, the cousin was tased by Los Angeles police. Now, it's interesting that Patrice Colors was born in the year 83 when we know that murder equals 83 when Los Angeles police also equals 83. Remember that song Murder by Numbers by the group The Police that was released in the year 83. But come on. Right? Because murder, right? Now this murder occurred as Patrice Colors is 474 months old when murder equals 474 in the Sumerian cipher, simply the English language multiplied by 6. So we get that murder with the year that she was born and then murder the span of months that she's been on this earth as this murder has occurred. Right? Once again, that Los Angeles police that they put strategically in that headline. Now, Patrice Cullors' birthday is on the 169th day of her cousin's death by the Los Angeles police when Los Angeles police equals 169 in the English language forwards. A is one, B is two, C is three. Once again, with that Los Angeles police, Los Angeles police equals 263 in the English language in reverse as Patrice Cullors was also 2,063 weeks old. Once again, dropping that zero, we get that two, that six, and that three. Now, what's also interesting is that the day that her cousin died in the hands of the Los Angeles police was on a day leaving 362 days remaining, which is the reflection of 263. So, hmm... This seems a little too organized, if you ask me. But let, once again, let's dive deeper. Because if we go back to the day that she was born, and we take it to the day that her cousin passed away, once again, 2,063 weeks, which happens to be the 311th prime number. Yeah, that's the number you was waiting for. If, if, if you've been my fam for a while, you've been here for a while, that's the number you was waiting for, right? Because we know that 311 deals with the number for dishonesty. 311 with the reflection of 113, which adding the letters once again, just simply adding those letters 
and you happen to get 311 also the reflection 113 now we know green screen dream world oh, i'm throwing some new ones fake reality equals 113 sinister divorce infidelity perjury disinfo not factual not true broadcasting mainstream bullshit election day and politics what do you know both of those things equal 113 and didn't we just elect our newest president on 11 slash <laughs> three puppets equal 113 illusions fictions equal 113 not honest and dishonest all equal 113 and what do you know the day that cnn publishes this article about the death of keenan anderson is also on 113 so what's really going on here is this a dishonest situation is this just mainstream bullshit is this just not factual all to rile up the emotions of the black community is this just propaganda and now that i think about it i don't think it really worked that well i think people are starting to wake up to these type of things because when i look back there were no riots there was no uproar about this situation at all correct me if i'm wrong i don't think anybody cared about this situation I think they knew exactly what it was. I think they seen this situation for exactly for what it was. Like I said, I can't bite my tongue for nobody. I don't know if that was really the family that reached out to me, but now I'm here to bring this information nonetheless, whether it was the family member or was it whether it wasn't. This was the universe saying that this needs to be talked about. You see what I'm saying? This needs to be this this needs to be brought forth. Because yet, time and time again, Black Lives Matter has, hmm, what's the word I should use? They have utilized us as a tool, a political tool at that, to fill up their own pockets. And we fell for it, we fell for it, we fell for it. But we started getting smarter and we started really analyzing these situations. So it's interesting that, you know, there's no more uproar. You can't, you, you, you can no longer use this. You, you can no longer to continue to use this same narrative. It's not working anymore. It's not working anymore. But come on. Right? Because they said colors continuing at 113, right? Because they said color said in an Instagram tribute post that her cousin was quote unquote, killed by lapd and what do you know killed by lapd also equals 113 even the location los angeles california also equals 113 i'll be damned is this bullshit on our hands these are the new questions that we have to ask Family of Keenan Anderson files $50 million claim after LAPD tase and death. And it looks like he's smiling in this photo that they happen to use. Why use this photo out of all the photos? And look at what day. Look at the day. Look at the day that this was published. On the 21st of January, 211, when he was killed by LAPD, 211, in Los Angeles, California, 211. Now they're seeking 50 million when Keenan equals 50 and killed by LAPD equals 50 as well. Now nah, something, something sinister is going on. I think once again, I, I don't even think y'all care about the uproar for BLM anymore because y'all know that it's over because we know that we, we didn't figure out what y'all was doing with the money. Y'all wasn't transparent with what y'all was doing with the donations and the money. Y'all out here buying cribs and real estate. So I don't even think they care about causing an uproar. I think this was all about just getting some money. That's what I think this. I think this was all about just getting some damn money. Because y'all know y'all ain't going to get no more donations. The donations is over with. So y'all got to find y'all the last little way. This is their last little run. So y'all better make that 50 million stretch. Y'all better create some generational wealth off of that. Because ain't, no ain't no more donations coming through. 
So this they last, this they last little try. And they gonna go for the big, they gonna go for the big numbers. But I don't think they gonna get awarded that much because this situation did not cause uh, the upward that they thought it would. So I don't think they're gonna get that much money. I don't think they're gonna get awarded. I don't think they're gonna get rewarded as much. Because niggas not tearing down their own communities anymore. So I don't think y'all going to get rewarded that much. But come on. Right? Back to Patrice Colors, right? Because Keenan Anderson passed away on Patrice Colors 198th day of her age. Just like Patrice Colors equals 198. Also, LAPD <laughs> equals 198 as well. Now, this is very similar. Right? Because... LAPD equals 33, police equals 33, and this killing uh, happened uh, on the 33rd parallel, right? Uh, this is very uh, this is very similar to the Rodney King situation, right? When he was beat by the police on 3-3 three three on a day leaving 303 days remaining. Uh, also, he was beat on the 33rd parallel, right? When police order, secrecy, masonry, and false flag all equal 33 hmm interesting right black lives matter this whole organization even the 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 even the creation of this organization organization uh was also by the numbers when black lives matter equals 106 uh when black also equals 106 uh, this might ring some bells to you uh, when we look back at the show that we all used to watch as kids, 106 and Park, right? When black equals 106. Once again, Rodney King was also uh, killed uh, 10 weeks and 6 days after his birthday when black, once again, equals 106. These are nothing but agents that you're seeing in front of you. They're playing characters and they're playing roles and they're being rewarded for doing this. Fake situations, real trauma that's being created with this. Because when we look back at our black history, these are the things that we see. A bunch of black people that have been beat, killed, stabbed, whipped, uh, flashed with water, water hoses, and niggas not being able to ride the bus. All this shit has been strategically uh, created. And black people have been willing participants. Yes, they've been selling us out for a long time now. They've been selling us out for a long time. All for monetary gain. Rodney King won a settlement as well. He won $3.8 million. I hope he made that money stretch while he was here. Rodney King also died at the age of 47 when we know agent and government equal 47 as well. Right? Hitman uh, exposed that as well. That Jamatra right in front of us. Uh, when the video game Hitman, the agent, he was agent 47. So they put that right in front of us. Right? He also got beat 47 weeks after his birthday. When we know that the, the 47, right? 47 degrees in the Masonic compass, Osama bin Laden, White House, the cabal, two parties, Republican and Democrat, two sides of the same coin, two sides of the same cipher. President, authority, framework, and government all equal 47. Now, the day that Keenan Anderson was killed, right, was also on 47 date numerology, right? Now, remember how Color said that her cousin was, quote unquote, killed by LAPD, right, which equals 211, which is the 47th prime number. These are government psyops that we're looking at. These are government psyops that are being ran and being conducted. Remember, this was the same parallel with Rodney King once again with him being born in Sacramento, California and him being beat in Los Angeles, California, where we get that 211 once again, which is the 47th prime number. Uh, another interesting parallel between Rodney King being beat by the LAPD and Keenan Anderson being killed by the LAPD is that Rodney King was born on 4-2, which we know nigger 
equals 42, right? KSI, the popular YouTuber, equals 42. Martin, as in Martin Luther King, equals 42. Uh, also, Martin, the sitcom, uh, where Martin Lawrence lived in apartment 42. Uh, slavery, Aaliyah, Big Sean, February, which is Black History Month, equals 42. Tuskegee, equals 42. Malcolm X, LeBron James, and Dwayne Wade, just to name a few, equal 42. Now, what's interesting about this number 42, Rodney King was beat four weeks and two days before his upcoming birthday. And this is, once again, an interesting parallel to Keenan Anderson because they like to tell you that LAPD officer tased Keenan Anderson six times in 42 seconds. This is all mockery, man. And then they tell you they're trying to George Floyd me. Yes, another person that was done in by the numbers. 42, even 4 plus 2 equals 6. And they say 6 times he was beat in 42 seconds. This is nothing but pure mockery right in front of you. This is also parallel to Rosa Parks as Rosa Parks was exactly 42 years and 42 weeks old when she said no to standing up on that bus when bus equals 42. And guess what? Rosa Parks was born on the 4th of February, 4 slash 2. Your whole black history has been organized and conducted by the numbers. It's nothing but mockery. It's all lies. It's all lies. These are all actors. Every last one of them are Boule members, Eastern Stars, and Masons. Creating fake situations and bringing real trauma to the people. This is our history. Now, y'all look out for that full. I'm going to do the full Rosa Parks breakdown on my Patreon. The Patreon coming soon. I'm just working out some content because I want a plethora of content first before I open up the Patreon. So I ain't, I ain't going to open it up yet. But just know I'm going in on every last one of these people in the month of February. Because we got to open this curtain. We can't keep every year. They sit here and mock us every damn year and laugh in our faces. Because we don't know this stuff. So every day of February, one of these niggas going to get exposed. But that's all we got for this video, man. Appreciate y'all for all the love. Appreciate y'all for all the support. And I'm out.